Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transport Fever, which is getting a day one Linux release alongside the other platforms, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to get right into this right here. Now big thanks to Tom from Urban Games for providing me with this review copy. Now I'm running this game at maxed out settings at 1080p, everything maxed out. The first thing you'll notice is that on the top left, the frames are capped at 60 frames per second. Now whether or not that's an engine requirement or whether there is a hidden vsync option, I'm unsure. I have not been able to find any way to turn off any sort of vsync, so it does seem like it's capped at 60 for good. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. I'm going to go to campaign. I'm going to start a European campaign. He's going to keep talking even while it's loading, but that's okay. Now the cool thing here is that I'm running this on Ubuntu 16.04 maxed out with the latest NVIDIA drivers, the 375.10 beta drivers. Now, let's see if I can close that. Now a cool thing about this is if you take a look at the scenes, they are pretty intense, pretty heavy. Look at the amount of details here. Moving in and out, it's pretty smooth. There are moments though where it does go down below 30 frames per second, but so far it's been enough that I can play the game and enjoy it quite a bit. Let's see here, where is the first station I want to work with? I think it's... That's Altdorf right there. Then we have these guys right here. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's these guys right here. And I want to create a station somewhere around here. The station I want to create is... A truck station. I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm also going to need a, let's see. So what I'm going to need here, now that I've got that, I think I'm going to need a road depot. Got to put that sucker right there. For some reason, I can't put it there. It's happening right here. Let me turn it around a bit. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and buy a road vehicle. I'm going to need a horse cart. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those. I did not set the lines yet. That's correct. Let's go ahead and click start mission. Let him do his talking while I do this. Complete. The Gothard Railway will be the fastest, most direct connection between North and South. The hard niece of the Gothard Massif towers before us. We have enough workers, ragged but strong Italians who have hired themselves out for a pittance. But we aren't going to dig our way through the mountain with our bare hands. We have to transport the necessary equipment to the construction site at the Northern Portal. All right, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm creating a new line. I've just built the necessary items. I think this is the right vehicle I need. So I'm going to go ahead and set line one right there. So I think I've got the right stuff I need. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to click run. Now, if I'm not wrong, that horse should start moving. Now, a very cool thing that I like about this game is zooming in. You can see so much detail here. So much, but even more fun than that is, let's let's click this horse right here. You see there's a small camera icon right here. Now if I click it, I can get into the view of the vehicle or the person or whatever is happening. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to close that. I'm going to close that. I'm going to speed things up so that horse is going to run fast. And while that horse is doing its thing, I'm going to take a look around in the city. Take a look at the people walking around. Now you can even do this on people, so I can, <laughs> look at that, I can look at the eyes through the eyes of a person on the street. Now that's pretty cool. Now this game no doubt has a target market for civil engineers or people who enjoy being tycoons of any kind digitally. So this game has quite a bit to offer, no doubt. So while going into person's view is a lot of fun, usually what you'd want to do is go into the... Vehicles. I don't seem to see any cars on this road though. Let's see if there's one down in, what is this, Luzerne? Luzerne. No cars here either. Lots of people but no vehicles. How odd. Well, I could make a bus stand later on and then start creating traffic. But for now, I want to keep my budget. I've only got 4 million, so it's not a lot. If you play the tutorial, you start with 100 million and you go through that really fast. 10 million down the drain in like a minute. Let's go ahead. I just want to go right through this. I really enjoy going through this first person view. Look at that. I don't know why it's just so much fun to look at this. <laughs> so we do see a bit of nastiness in the shadows up there, but hey, that's okay. There's a rendering draw distance here that we, we are seeing. So things are popping into the scene. We're still getting a solid 60 frames per second. So if any of you were wondering, oh, what is that? That's rather nasty graphics there. But they did say in the email that they'll be working on fixing bugs. 
The fact that this runs and isn't crashing or anything like that on Linux on day one is pretty good. Actually, I'm playing this slightly before day one. So this is only a recording near the release date. So if you're interested in tycoon games, building stuff, this definitely has something for you. So with all that said, there's a lot that you can do here. Everything from trains, buses, you differentiate between commuters to cargo. There's even planes, which I haven't gotten to yet. And there's boats as well for the sea. So this is very much close to uh, their previous title, which was Train Fever, except this time they've expanded upon the game. I believe it even uses the same engine, but with vast improvements. Cool thing is that they support Linux on day one as well. So I've been in bigger maps than this before, and so far the performance has been okay. Now, if you're curious about uh, the performance of the game and you want me to try and do a benchmark, I'd definitely be willing to do it. I'm just curious if there are people who are interested at all in me doing one for this title. If there are, let me know in the comments down below. So that's just a quick look at this game so far, nothing too serious. So I just wanted to showcase a very heavy traffic scenario. And I really love this aspect of the game where you can take that first person view, especially the car here, and just enjoy the ride. You don't even have to care about the rest of the mission or anything like that. Just choose a vehicle and set it to camera and just watch it happen. It's just so much fun. I, I feel like I'm going on a joyride here, even though this is not VR. This is pretty sweet. So to finish off the video, I'm just going through a tutorial map here where I'm building a rail line between a stone quarry and a factory. So basically, there are resources in this game that need to be uh, moved to facilities like the factory, which will then turn it into resources. And then you want to move those resources into the town. And the town is comprised of three. There's the industrial zone. There's the, uh, I forget what the term is, the blue zone where it's, it's office jobs. And then there's the residential areas. So basically what's happening here is that we start at the very basic level of items that we need to mine. Things like rocks, stones, I think even later on there's stuff like trees, I'm, I'm not too sure. Because I remember there's the horse carts which can carry logs. So what I want to show here is the building process, moving stuff around, setting it up, setting down some tracks. And then finally I'll end it with going into a first person view of the train because I really, really enjoy doing that. So here it is moving things around. Now the pretty cool thing here is that the ground that I'm moving these tracks on are not completely flat. So the game will adjust the ground for you. You don't have to manually adjust it for yourself. And this is pretty cool as well because you can pull tracks through mountains and it will dig holes through the mountains for you. But the downside is that it's extremely expensive to do. So you need to do things wisely. So this is probably not the best way to do things. I would probably put the... A depot for the train a lot closer with less tracks between the train track but this is what the tutorial wants in that area that's why the area just now was circled yellow so once you get a depot and you've got the track set up you actually have to choose the trains you want to buy and then the train has its own carriages at the back you can choose is it for people or is it for cargo so here this one specifically has five carriages at the back for cargo and it will be carrying stones I'll go to the quarry, I'll pick up stones, and it'll come back to the factory. And this is the first person view here. I just, I don't, I don't know why this works so well with me. I love this first person view so much. Not having to do anything but feeling like I'm there. It's like going on an adventure overseas without leaving the comfort of your room. I like this. So this is a pretty neat game to have on day one to Linux. No doubt it has a few bugs here and there, but hopefully since they built the engine in-house, they can fix it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If I made mistakes, please forgive me and thank you for watching.